What's going on, everyone? George and Max coming back at you with another Midnight Minisode. Uh, we're talking more entertainment news. I promise this won't just be Marvel, but we're talking about the teaser trailer that just dropped for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, spoiler alert for Spider-Man No Way Home is in effect starting now. Uh, if you haven't seen that movie yet, the teaser is attached as a non-traditional post credit scene. Uh, obviously, you've got the mid credit scene for the film, and then stay through the rest of the credits. You'll see the teaser, uh, but it's been posted to YouTube already, and it's on Marvel's social media. So uh, let's dive in, Max. What did you uh, What did you see in the trailer? I mean, there's there's a lot. We could easily spend over an hour talking about um, everything, going you know second by second, frame by frame. But you know, I think. Why not start with the big one? Um, it looks like we're going to get Strange Supreme from What If. Yeah. Why not go for the big one and talk about that first? Yeah, that is the big reveal at the end of the trailer. Uh, and you and I were talking about this last week before we recorded that episode of uh, Unqualified Film Bros, name dropping the other show here, um, that I was, I think, actually, this might have been before either of us even saw No Way Home, uh, I was talking about how I didn't know how What If would tie into the MCU. It was and right before, it was before you saw it. It was after I saw it. And I, so you had, already to knew. My, I had to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, so Doctor Strange Supreme uh, from episode four of mm -hmm. What If. Um, definitely one of the darker episodes of the show, but critics adored it. We loved it. Mm -hmm. uh, what a character. You, you sort of don't really get a villain vibe. You don't really get a hero vibe either. He's more of an opportunist, I think, than the, the strange we see. He's a tragic see. hero. You know, I think he, he took advantage of some of his opportunities and the powers that he had. And, you know, you see what looks like a redemptive arc across you know, two or three episodes um, towards the end of the season. And of course, sorry, spoilers for what if as well. Um, in the final episode, he is tasked by the watcher to um, guard the pocket dimension that Killmonger and Arnim Zola are now inhabiting together. Um, and I don't know, I, I never got the sense that Strange Supreme even at the height of his power was as evil as we seem to have gotten in this trailer. Like there was, there was some edge to this guy that I'm yeah, sure I saw seemed, him in the, in the show. He seemed really dark. And the reason why I said opportunist is because there's a, a popular theory just since no way home has been out uh, over the last few days, popular theory that at the end of what if episode four strange Supreme destroyed his own universe and that's why he's mm -hmm. sort of off in the cosmos with the watcher uh to set up the guardians of the multiverse arc at the end of season one of what if so the the theory goes and i i i'm a fan of this theory i don't know if i've bought into it yet um but the theory goes that he might seek to usurp dr stephen strange as we know him from all the mcu films Huh. usurp his role in the main timeline of the mcu interesting i mean that would be that would definitely buy into the title of multiverse of madness that would be pretty crazy um and it would obviously have huge consequences for the rest of phase four and just the mcu in general um you know his love interest christine palmer is alive in our timeline um and that was his main goal uh, in the fourth episode of What If. So, you know, of course, I haven't bought into that completely either, but that's a very interesting theory. And I think I, I wouldn't be upset to see that play out or at least have an attempt at that playing out. Yeah. Um, and something else that, that could tie in beyond Doctor Strange uh, or beyond Strange Supreme, rather, is the vague description of multiverse of madness that we've had since the film was announced was strange must do battle with a friend turned enemy 
Mm -hmm. uh, and in the process of doing so, unleashes unspeakable evil. Now, there's been rumors that that's going to be Mephisto or Nightmare or even some Wanda. variant of Dormammu or Wanda. Uh, but after seeing how What If played out, that unspeakable evil could very well be the variants of Killmonger and Zola uh, in that pocket dimension and Strange unleashing that. We also don't know which Strange that teaser is or that description is talking about anymore because there are two in the trailer. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it could even be a character that we haven't even mentioned, right? There's tons of friends that could turn into enemies. Mordo it's, is back. Loki is, is back. probably there. Yep. I mean, the movie is called Multiverse of Madness for a reason. We just don't know what those reasons are. Um, and speaking of the multiverse, George, um, I, I'm sure you caught this, but America Chavez made an appearance a number of times sort of in the background yes. of, of the trailer. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sochil Gomez is playing America Chavez in the MCU, obviously in the comics, the character jumps between dimensions. And I think that ability is going to play heavily into the multiverse of madness that mm -hmm. Strange and Wanda and Strange Supreme and Mordo and Wong and all of these characters might even, you know, universe hop as we saw with the Watcher and uh, Ultron Vision in the eighth episode of what if so i think her powers and her abilities um of course we only saw her in two or three clips mm -hmm. of the teaser and we might get to see more of her in a, in a future full-length trailer but i think her abilities will factor heavily into this timeline timeline into these timelines uh playing out in dr strange and the multiverse of madness just to introduce her character but also raise the stakes of the situation, the madness of the multiverse. Um, so another character that we talked about uh, briefly, who obviously is going to play a major role in this film, is Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, newly anointed Scarlet Witch uh, after the events of WandaVision. We know that series ties into this film. Uh, something after Spider-Man No Way Home that I thought of was in WandaVision, Agatha Harkness. Spoilers for WandaVision, Agatha Harkness is in it. If you haven't seen the show yet, get on that. Blanket spoilers for all things MCU and yeah. this, in, in this mini so. <laughs> um, yeah, Agatha Harkness says to Wanda, your power rivals that of, or exceeds that of even the Sorcerer Supreme. Mm -hmm. We know from Spider-Man No Way Home that Wong is the Sorcerer Supreme. So then in the trailer, in the teaser, Strange approaches Wanda, living in isolation, obviously continuing her research on the Darkhold, uh, maybe trying to find a way to bring her Westview family back to her in the real world. Uh, but she says, uh, I, I was wondering when you'd come, or I was expecting that you'd come at some point. And... I don't know if Wanda knows that Strange isn't the Sorcerer Supreme, but I think that, you know, it was just a humorous throwaway technicality in Spider-Man No Way Home. But it's obviously huge for a Doctor Strange movie that Wong is the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. But, you know, I am thinking about the timeline of events um, in the MCU and at the point that Agatha Harkness um, says that line of, you know, your powers will exceed even those of the Sorcerer Supreme. Oh, wait, never mind. Because <laughs> that's after it. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so Wong actually is the Sorcerer Supreme at that point. But, you know, did she know that too? I mean, that also is a question. Did Agatha know that? Um, Doctor Strange is not the Sorcerer Supreme and that it's Wong. And I, I mean, we also haven't really even seen the true powers, the full power potential of Wong either. Um, 
true. He's you know, maybe been, he's uh, holding back. He also is the librarian of Kamartage. So he's got to have some, he's obviously a, a great wizard, but sorcerer, but. Um, wizards wear hats. Wizards do wear hats. A sorcerer is a wizard without a hat. There you go. <laughs> Bucky. Uh, yeah. So speaking of Kamartage, we're obviously tripping through a bunch of different dimensions in this film, in this teaser even. We see a shot of sorcerers uh, at Kamartage, and it's sort of dark. There's like this ominous cloud coming over the uh, temple. So are there going to be other sorcerers, maybe unnamed so far uh, in the MCU, who could take that step up during a battle at Kamartage? I mean, it's such a brief clip, but I feel like it's going to play really play a really big role in the film because that's the that's that's the ground zero for all of the masters of the mystic arts yeah i I was gonna say that is that it was the basis and the setting for most of dr strange one um and you know it was also where dr strange became the sorcerer supreme it was where he was mentored by the Ancient One. It was where he befriended <clears throat> Baron Mordo, who also made an appearance in this trailer. Uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor is returning. I love Chiwetel. He's so talented. Yeah. He's so great in this role. Obviously, you saw the, the stinger, the post credit scene for Doctor Strange mm-hmm. back in 2016 uh, when he goes out sorcerer hunting. And now he does a lot of the voiceover work for this teaser. He says, like, the main uh, the, the main threat to the multiverse is you, Stephen. Or he's, he's talking to Strange, and he says that you are this big threat. Yep. Of course, he could be talking about Strange Supreme. He could be talking about the Strange that he knows. But could he be the ally-turned-enemy in the description that we were talking about? I mean, part of that seems almost too easy uh, because one, it's in the comics that <laughs> that kind of happens, but also that was the arc that they set up at uh, towards the end of Doctor Strange. Um, he had become disillusioned with Kamartage as a whole and sort of the mystic arts and, and the way that the Ancient One was teaching the mystic arts and then the way that Stephen Strange followed in the Ancient One's footsteps of not you know, of sort of allowing too many sorcerers. That was, I believe, the last line of the movie in the post credit scene. Uh, there's too many sorcerers. And Jonathan Pangborn. And, you know, took away Jonathan Pangborn's powers, probably killed him, <laughs> um, or at least crippled him. Uh, to recrippled the point him. Of, yeah, recrippled him. Uh, so that is absolutely a possibility but again this is a multiverse movie so there not literally but there are so many options that marvel can take this movie in where friend becomes enemy falls true and i think that's the brilliance of them setting up the multiverse and the the potential implications of the multiverse opening up in No Way Home is that we get a real sense of the potential stakes and that the stakes weren't even unleashed in No Way Home. And yet we felt the gravity of the situation. Here, we're going to get that situation. It's, it's something's going to happen that is absolutely massive that will be timeline altering in this movie. Yeah, uh, you say timeline. We know that the first season of Loki is going to tie into this. Um, Tom Hiddleston, Sofia DiMartino, rumored to appear in the film as Loki and Sylvie. You know, WandaVision is going to tie in and maybe maybe her Westview kids, uh, Speed and Wiccan, Tommy and Billy. Billy and Tommy, I think. Speed and Wiccan. Mm-hmm. Or no, the other way around. doesn't matter. Um, they're twins. <laughs> but they're going to be a big part of the Young Avengers at some point, uh, if the comics are to be believed. 
as the source mm -hmm. material. Uh, so you've got all of these different, you know, multiverse bending setups to this story. No Way Home is also a huge part of it. All the multiverse talk in Avengers Endgame, where, you know, you clip the branches by going back and returning the stones, but also some things were left changed. So I think all of that, as you said, is going to come to a head in this movie. And before we wrap up, I just want to talk about one more, <clears throat> one more character who's only on screen for a brief moment, entirely CG I, uh, which is a yes. bad joke. Well done. Well done. Better than any of my stand up set tonight. Ooh. Um Shumagorath. Shumagorath. Who is the, the one eyed monster from the comics? Obviously, this huge supervillain, uh, dimension hopping supervillain, maybe seeking out America Chavez to use her abilities. Yep. Uh, seeking out Wanda, seeking out Strange and Wong. But we know, based on that one scene about halfway through the trailer, a monster that looks a lot like Shuma Gorath is in the movie. Mm -hmm. this, uh, <laughs> this trailer has us going a little bit mad for the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, I mean, it was, what, three and a half minutes or something like that not um, even yeah felt like it felt longer than it was because <laughs> definitely they, felt longer in the theater they they packed the trailer full of easter eggs and um fascinating moments that we didn't even get to i mean one of them is the wedding of christine palmer with stephen strange looking uh looking on from the sidelines uh what's that all about you know, is that a dream sequence? Is it real? We have no idea. And they put it in there. And as we all know, as Marvel fans, that the MCU, Kevin Feige and his his team, they don't do things for no reason. Um, and so looking to what, May 6th, 2022? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a lot to look forward to and a number of superhero projects coming in between now and then that could potentially alter our perception of what this movie is all about, um, could help explain some certain moments, will definitely force us to ask more questions and raise more questions than it will yeah. answer. Um, you know, even Morbius, nobody, th there's tons in that trailer that we won't get to right now, but that confuses the heck out of me as me to too. what universe that takes place in. Because if, you know, quick plug, if you haven't seen that trailer, go watch it. It's really confusing, um, but it's a lot of fun. And I forget what else comes out, but I think there's a couple of Marvel TV shows that come out early. Yep, should be getting uh, Moon Knight, maybe Secret Invasion or She-Hulk. Yeah. So all, yeah. all of these projects and then the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I almost said Spider-Man because that's been on my mind for the last week or yeah. year. Uh Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. It's in theaters May 6th, 2022. Max and I are going to be back with the Unqualified Film Bros next weekend. Um, go check out some of the other reviews we've done. Check out some of the other trailer previews, trailer recaps we've done uh, with the Midnight Minisodes. That's going to do it for this one. We will see you very soon. Good night.